Gentlemen, damage control has arrived. You are looking at the past, present, and future of the women's division. The following is a six-woman tag team match. On the way to the ring, Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Eel Scott. Damage control. Attitude or not, you cannot deny the collective talent of Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky. Now, Io Sky may be the best high flyer in women's division history. Kai, one of the most lethal strikers around, all led by the genius level ring IQ of the role model. Yeah, and here's the thing they've also run roughshod over the entire women's division. Heck, they've even brought the fight to legends like Trish Stratus and Lita. That's because nobody stands in the way of damage control. Quite simply, nobody can stop damage control. The EST is here. This is going to be good. And our opponents, first from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Just signature exuberant energy. Now, yeah, Belair is always ready for her next big moment and always highly motivated to be the best at everything she does. The EST Bianca Belair always has such a big smile on her face. Well, that's just because Bianca hasn't realized you're down here yet. There are only three things certain in life. Death, taxes, and Charlotte Flair. She is inevitable. An entrance fit for a queen. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Hey, if you want to create a legacy in the WWE women's division, then Charlotte Flair is the mountain you have to climb. Yeah, there's no one even close to the amount of accomplishments that Charlotte has. The WWE ring is her unquestioned kingdom. Charlotte will stop you and then leave an imprint of her boot tattooed on your face. Highly skilled in every facet. Strength, brawling ability, risk-taking, mind games. No other women's competitor has been so decorated, so revered. Charlotte Flair is ahead of her time. True greatness usually isn't realized until after you've been enshrined in the WWE Hall of Fame. Such is not the case with Charlotte. Just open your eyes and experience the greatness. Charlotte Flair proudly pulls the strings as the puppet master of the women's division and will gladly accept anyone who will bow down. She created her own divine right as the queen and intends to cause great pain and suffering to her opposition. You just can't game plan for this type of brilliance. One of the best women strikers in WWE, Nikita Lyons. Oh, yeah. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, Nikita Lyons. Built like a tank, but moves like a cat. Uh, if Nikita is a tank, she's certainly an aerodynamic tank.
These teams have been waiting for that bell to ring all night, and here we go. When you have this many superstars in action, you know it's about to be an arduous match for all involved. But the team that can ultimately weather the storm will be the one celebrating tonight. Well, Bailey has seen enough. Luthes Press. Every strike more devastating than the last. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Hard shot to the back. Here's the pump handle. Into the backbreaker. Able to tag her partner. Tag made. Put into the corner now. Oh, got right to the face. You got your teeth in the front row. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Stomp right on the knee. This is just establishing dominance. Oh, Ooh. what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? She can end it here. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Quick tags are so key to victory in a six-woman tag team match. But at what point do you just ride the hot hand and let one competitor take charge? Well, it's always good to go in with a team-based strategy, but if someone seems to have things in hand, I say let it ride. The benefit of a three-woman team is there are two superstars who can eventually jump in if the lead woman gets tired. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Whoa! She's feeling the... Here's the cover. Oh, I thought it was over, but again... Can we please get some control? Look at this. Boom! Uh-oh, Dragon Sleeper applied. This could be it. You feel like... Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Sweeps the legs. Crushing double stop. Neckbreaker. And the queen hits a spear. EO in a daze. Could be over soon. She's fighting back. Monster set up in the corner. What a back body drop. Boom! Oh, man. Oh, across the top rope. And Charlotte displaying this kind of demeanor must be an inherited trait. Uh -oh. oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing face meat floor i think i see a few teeth on the floor <laughs> counters with an attack on charlotte Ooh. Ah. Kicked all the way to the floor and charlotte setting herself up top and a series of vicious knee strikes to the body Boy. Oh man, taking it 
to the trachea. And a series of vicious knee strikes to the body. Oof. Across the top rope. What a hot shot. Bam. Oh. Dakota interrupts the attack. Oh. Nine. And there's a takedown. Kick to the gut creates separation. Up and the bang. Face Buster. Count out maybe imminent here. Really testing fate right now. I think the fans actually cheered when Bailey took that hit. What a hot shot! What a six-man tag match. Here are your winners: the team of Bianca Belair, Charlotte Flair, and Nikita Lyons. Falling victim to the ref's count. This one is over. Not the win they wanted, but it's a win nonetheless.